welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a puzzle which I think has a brilliant rule set. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Now, don't forget all our stuff on Patreon, um, including now uh, some crossword content from both me and Simon. Uh, I know Simon's been thinking of putting up other puzzles there as well. There's always good stuff going on on Patreon, but there's loads of stuff on Discord as well. If you join the Discord server, there will be people to guide you around how good um, and how much content there is there. Some brilliant puzzles and theory all the time. Now, do check out our apps as well and our merch. It's all on the links under the video, Sven Sudoku Pad and uh, all that stuff. But the first link is to this puzzle, Attack of the Killer Sandwich by Oddly Even. I don't think we've done a puzzle by Oddly Even before, so it's a debut, but... Look at this rule set. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Cells separated by a black dot are in a ratio of one to two. Not all dots are given. I laugh because, in fact, only one dot is given. Now, clues outside the grid are both sandwich and little killer clues. They indicate the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. Now, that's not the row or column that's being pointed to. This 29 operates on that row. Um, and it says that wherever the 1 and the 9 appear, between them is sandwiched a group of digits adding up to 29. Um, but these are also using the arrows acting as little killer clues, so those five cells add up to 29. Um, do forgive the drillers behind me. They know not that they are sinning. Um, now... Digits can repeat on the diagonals. I uh, wouldn't have to on that 29 diagonal, but they can. And that's it. I mean, we just get seven of these um, combined clues and one black dot. And apparently that's enough to solve this puzzle. Having constructed a number of sandwich puzzles, I am well aware that you need a lot more than seven sandwich clues to make a grid um, unique. So this is fascinating. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I have no idea how long it's going to take. I mean, the normal guess is about half an hour for something I know nothing about. And it's very hard for me to tell how hard this is going to be with these rules and these numbers. But I'm just going to plunge in, see how we do. Let's get cracking now. And, okay, 33 is a useful sandwich clue because 35 is the maximum. Now, you know the secret of the sum of the digits one to nine, that's 45. Now the maximum sandwich in a normal sandwich Sudoku is the sum of the digits between two and eight, which could appear, if you had one on the edge and nine on the other edge, the digits in between would be two to eight. And you can work that out by subtracting nine and one, which are 10 from 45. And that means the maximum sandwich is 35. Now what does that mean for 33? It means that all the digits are sandwiched between the 1 and the 9, except for 2, which has to be what we call an outy. So there's either a 2 here or here. And then if there's a 2 here, we have 1 and 9 in these positions. And if there's a 2 here, we have 1 and 9 in those positions. Now, either way around, this end digit has to be 1, 9, or 2. And all of these cannot have a sandwich crust, the one or the nine in them. So I'm going to color them green. That's what we do. Now a 29 row, I can color the middle cells green. The outies, again, subtract 29 from 35. The outies add up to six, which could be a single six, but this time it could be two and four. But either way around, you can't get the crust any closer to the middle than here or here. Uh, that same goes for a 30. Actually, there are quite a few of these. 28, yes. Again, that's not... You have to come down to 26 to get an outy group that could add up to 9, being 2, 3, and 4. Uh, sorry, that could add up to... That could take 3 cells. Because the outies here are 9. The minimum number of sandwich outies are 2, 3, and 4. That's 3 of them. So, 28, we can colour those green. In fact, now... We've got so many cells coloured green, not containing 1 and 9, in the middle box that we can actually put in the 1 and 9. Not that we know which is which, but we know where they are. They must be there. Now, in this 26 row, 
uh, yes, okay, these four cells, that's the maximum number that you can get in four cells. I think they have to be 8765. And the 234 outies that I was mentioning do go in there. Oh, I've just noticed a 17. Like, let's not forget the little killer clues. I've been only looking at the sandwich clues so far, but that 17 clue has to be 98. Now, I can't colour those because one of them is red, but I can write in the numbers. Now, this hasn't told me anything about the 33. In the 28, there is a 1 or 9 in each end. That's not very interesting. Ah, oh, this 29. Right, yes, one of these three cells is a crust because of this 29. These cells are in the sandwich. Um, but there's a crust there and there's a crust here, so these three are not crust. And one of those two is and one of those two is. I didn't actually butter my parsnips for me. Oh, 33 and 4 cells on the diagonal. Yeah, the maximum is... Oh, I was going to say 34. It's actually 35. If you had 9s on the ends and a 9-8 pair in the same box in the middle, that would be 35. So there's one degree of freedom on the ends. They could be 8 or 7. Um, sorry, there's two degrees of freedom on the ends and two in the middle. So that could be a 9-6 pair with 9 on each end. But it could also be 8-7, so I can't be confident that one of those is a 9, quite. Now what? This is a bit interesting, is it? 28? No, not really. I was just wondering if I could force a 9. Ah! Oh. Ah, yes, I was wondering if I could force a 9 onto this diagonal. And I was thinking I can't really do much with it, because although that's 2, 3 or 4, this could be anything up to 8. I've just noticed this can't be a 9 as well. I can't colour it green, but I know it's not a 9 because of that pair. Um... I suppose it doesn't really help that much. This could be 7, that could be 8, that could be 9, and then there's just no pressure on it. No, okay, that's not all that informative. I need to find something else. This 29 is not so interesting either at the moment. 13, no. Ah, this 30. not really that useful. That's, it's quite a middling number. 26 here, I haven't looked at that, but it's a long way below 33 as a total. Okay, I'm, I'm just totally missing something at the moment. Let me just try and think. Right, this 30 clue in this column, those are in the sandwich. One end of the sandwich is up here, and it's not the 9, it's the 1 end. Now 30 is a number think it could have a two cell outies so I can't rule nine and one out of these central squares but what do I think about this if I've got a one up here and a nine down here I don't know feels like I know something about if the outies were two and three down here that would be a four so that's useful, and maybe that is going to happen, but I don't know how. So let's think about this 28 again. Now, again, 7 could be the outies. That could be... Ah! Oh, is this interesting that this is a big number? This can't be an 8, actually, because it would be an outie in this column. And it's too big to be an outie in this column. The outies in this column are only totaling seven. So it could be a seven and be the only outie with one and nine in those positions. Or it could be a nine and be a crust. And then one can be in one of those two. I think either way, this is never a crust. If that's a seven and an outie, it's not a crust because the crust is there. If it's a nine, it's not a crust. So that is not a crust. These now are still 2, 4, 4, 8, 
or 3.6, so not that helpful as regards the black dot. I wanted to say the black death there for some reason, don't know why, I'm just going mad. Um, what does that tell us? Not much actually. Okay, let's have another think about this. Don't think it affects, or does it affect the 13 diagonal? Not really. Um, I don't know, maybe it does. If this 13 diagonal was 9, 4, then this would have to be 8, 7 at the maximum. And that would require 9s in both these positions. And that's not possible. If this is 9, 4, one of those nine, one of those is a 9 and it's going to clash with the double 9 I'm trying to put here. So actually, the 13 can't be 9, 4. It's either 8, 5 or 6, 7. Now, if it's 8, 5... I think that works. Ooh, if it's 6, 7, this is 8, 9, and these have to add up to 16. Yeah, that works as well. So, gosh, we're getting close to something, and I don't know what. Oh, and this column, 13, is the sandwich. I haven't really focused on that at all. but it could be these two cells. It doesn't have to involve these. Ah, oh, this is weird. I can't quite find what to get a handle on here. Oh, the 17 clue? Yes. Well, I know a little about this. I think these are in the sandwich in the 17 clue, because otherwise it would be over on the right side. You can't make a 17 sandwich in two cells because 9 can't be one of the sandwiched cells. So these are in the sandwich, but the maximum length of a 17 sandwich is 4 cells. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would add up to 20. So the maximum length it can extend to here is there, which would put the crust here. This is always green. This is never a 1 or 9. I don't think that's actually worth a lot to me, but nonetheless... Ah! Oh, look, we've got a 9 in those cells and a 1 in one of those cells. So the rest of these in this box are not sandwich cells. They are, oh, sorry, are not crusts. So now, if these are in the sandwich, that is the end of the sandwich. That is the 1. There's our first digit. Goodness, that's that's been staring me in the face, and I have not been noticing it. Now... The 17 sandwich is either three or four cells, so we're going to get a nine in one of those two. This has now become not in the sandwich. Does that affect... Ah, oh, look at this diagonal, which now has a one and a maximum four on it. If we made this one or two, we'd need at least 21 more in those. This is a nine. Bingo. Okay, that's good. This is now the outie, this is a two, this is a one. The one we can color red, that's given us the nine and eight up here as well. Just do the numbers while I can see them and then I'll think about, well, okay, now I'll do the coloring. Red there, green in those cells. Um, there's a nine, that sees a nine and a one. So now in this column we've got, oh, well, maybe think about this still. If that's a 4, these have to add up to 14. If it's a 3, they add up to 15. And if it's a 2, they add up to 16, which actually they still could. That could be a 9 and that could be a 7. Okay, don't think about that yet. This 2, maybe this 1. This 1 is on the 30 diagonal. The 9's on the 29. Something's popping here. Come on, what's what's coming free now? 
that could can this still be the outie be a seven with a nine here and a one here i suppose it very much can which is annoying if that's a nine then this is a one and this is a seven but i suppose that could be a nine and that could be a one no that's not possible anymore because then that would be a seven and that couldn't be anything right. Well, I say right with a sense of purpose as though I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. I don't know still what to do. Um, now we know one of these is red, one of these is red. Oh, these add up to 17, either three or four of them. Which, yeah, no, there are ways to do that. Ah, 30 in this column. There we go. These can't be nines anymore. That's the nine. Yes, that's it. Took me a while to spot that. This is now a two, three pair. That's what the outies add up to. And this becomes four. Okay. I'm going to pencil mark the other cells as five, six, seven, and eight, just because I know they are. Nine there is looking at this, so that's a seven, that's the outie. These are the crusts, they are right next to the other crusts, that's green. Let's put in the numbers as well, one and nine. Now look, we've lost all the degrees of freedom here, have we? Hang on, seven plus nine plus eight plus nine is 33. Yes, we've lost them all. That's a nine eight pair, that's a nine. That's another crust and Oh, well, that's got to be the eight. That's got to be the nine. That's another crust. That's green. This pair has become six, seven, which I suspected they would be. Oh, but I did not know how I was going to ever prove it. Now we've found out. Okay, what else? A 13 sandwich in this column. Now, hang on, let's just do some coloring. That's green. These are green because they've got their one nine already. Uh, nine is here. That's not coloring, that's Sudoku. Something else I like doing. Uh, so we go red here, that's now green. This is green because it's, oh, well, those are all green because they're in a row that's got its one nine. Now that's green because of this 13. One of those is the one. Might struggle to be here, but that's green. Okay, what have I forgotten? These are going to add to 17. These are done. I, I'll look at the ki little killer clues in a moment. For now I'm looking at the sandwich clues. 13 in two or three cells here. No, that's not an eight, but it can still be in three. Seven, four, two would work, and probably something else. Six, five, two. Now, sandwiches, right, 29 clue, right, yes, that needs a one there with a six outie to make up 35 total. These can't be sixes anymore. Now, these see ones and nines, so they're green. There's a one in one of those. That is not a nine or a one. This is where the nine goes in the box. That's going to fix one nine. I could have put this one in ages ago. These are all green because they see two reds. That is a red one. These are green. That's got to be red. That is a nine and is red. That one is green. And we finish the coloring with a red. We get one there and a one there. And that's all the one nines done. Now, let's think about the sandwiches then. And then we'll get on to the little killers. Um, so this 30 is done because I've put the two, three outs. I've done the outies there and there. I haven't done this. I've done all the other down clues apart from the 13. Across, yes, I've got the outies here and here. So it's just the 17 and the 13. I might just flash those with blue to show that I have not resolved them. Now the little killers, 17 there. Ah, look at this, 28 here. So, got to be two possibilities for that, 19. These two add up to nine, so that's six or seven. Don't know which. 
Um, I might color those purple. Now down here, 26, but I can't have nine or eight here. The maximum there is an eight, so they could be 15 and a six is 21. This is at least five, so that's five, six or eight. Um, and the least these two can be, no, that doesn't give a max here. The most they can be is eight and seven. So the least this can be is five again. Can't be an eight. So it's getting close to being a triple there, but not quite. Now, what about this 30 diagonal? I've done the 33 and the 30. No, let's have a look at the 29 diagonal first. 19 already. These two add up to 10. Ah, there's a lot of ways of doing those. Two, eight, three, seven, four, six, or a pair of fives. Let's not forget that option. So this one can't be a seven and that one can't be a three as a result, but that's all I've got. Very little on that. I suspect this is gonna be even worse. I've got a one. Oh, bother. Okay, I'm gonna to have to find some Sudoku to do or Look at this 13 group or this 17. Does the 17 need an eight in it? No. Maybe it does actually. Given this six or seven cell, if you didn't put an eight here, the most you could have is seven, five, four, which only adds up to 16. So there is an eight in that group. That's now not an eight. We might as well knock these down one by one, see if we can get somewhere on that. Diagonal. I was going to make those purple as well. Uh, I'm not going to bother with this one because we haven't got close enough. But this one, they're quite interesting numbers as well on that diagonal. I think we might get somewhere with those, but I need to do some ordinary Sudoku first, I think. So we've got an 8 there. So it's either 8, 2, 7, 8, 3, 6, or 8, 5, 4. That's a lot of possibilities. Rats. Two, three, six, one, four, nine. That is five, seven, or eight in this box. Oh, this pair. Do I know anything about them? Not really. They can still be three, six, one way, two, four, one way, or four, eight. No, I really don't know enough about them. Oh, I'm feeling a bit stuck here. This 13 group. I mean, there's a lot there. 238, 247, 256, and 346. And they all look possible to me. I don't see why not. So I'm missing... Oh, no, hang on. 19867. So these are from 3, 4, or 5. That's not helpful. Oh, six, seven. I've got a seven looking at that. Right. Simple enough. Not much to actually do there except fill them in. These can't be sixes. So that takes four out of here. And again, this pair is being whittled down one digit at a time. That seven comes out of there. Gosh, I don't quite know what I'm missing here. Five, seven, eight. We've got two and three to put in that row. Not useful. It's not this black dot, is it? I don't see how that's helping me at all at the moment. Maybe the 30 diagonal. I haven't really done the maths on it. The maximum it can be here is eight, seven, six. I just don't think it helps yet. 21, 22... These add up to 13, so this group adds up to 22. No, I don't care about that. Six is in one of these two cells. And four, five, and seven somewhere else. Okay, that's interesting. That means this can't be a six. Okay, maybe it's about this diagonal. This one can't be a seven, I just noticed. And this can't be a six. Right, now there are very few ways of filling this in. 
So the max adds up to 27 if this was 6768. So we can only take one off 6768. So this can't reduce to a five. That must be a seven. This can't reduce to a five. It must be eight. And now 21 plus five, there we go. So I can take out the coloring there. That is resolved. Gosh, that took some doing. It shouldn't have been that hard. Never mind. Fives can't be in those cells. This one also can't be a seven. In fact, we seem to have a seven, eight pair there. So this is six. This is five. That gives us a four, seven pair at the top. That makes this a five, six pair. It is amazing how things suddenly emerge in this. Eight in the first column. That's got to go in there. Two in this row, that's got to be there. And this is a three, four, five triple. Well, we're not going to put five on the black dot, and we're not going to put three on it because it would need a six here, which can't be there. So that's a four. Now, that doesn't unfortunately tell us what the other side is. Two or eight, I reckon. Then this is a six to fill the box. This can't be five. We've got a two, three, four triple still to resolve in that row. This is also, well, it's three or four. It's in a two, three, four triple going north or in the box. It's in a three, four, five triple looking east. Um, right, now, have I lost any more of these possibilities? Ah, oh, look, six is looking at that. So that's a seven, and that goes with a two here. Let me just check the maths. 10, 17, 26, yes, two there. So let's take out the colouring there. Now, has that sorted out? It hasn't done anything with those. Right, but we can use the two. Look, that's done this whole triple. Three, four, two down there. That must do this cell. So four. Um, doesn't do anything looking up the grid. Never mind. Three, five pair there. Two, three, four, nine, one. Oh, come on. One, nine, two, seven. So... This really hasn't improved. Maybe, ah, this, we've got 13. So this group of cells, let's do them a different color. Um, dark gray. Right, they add up to 17. And they can't involve nines or ones. Eight, seven, two, eight, six, three, eight, five, four. That's quite a few possibilities. And there's still seven, six, four as well. Now, if they were seven, six, four, that would be five, that would be eight, we'd have a two, three pair. If they have an eight in, I don't know, that's a bit of a complex set of things to keep worrying about. Right, let's just try and find some more Sudoku then. Oh, this group adds up to 17. It's got an 8 in, so it now can't be 872. It's either 863 or 854. Now, either way around, that's a 6-5 virtual pair, because whichever one isn't used in the triple is used there. So these are from 2, 3, 4, and 7. Can't be eight, six, or five. This one can't be four. This one can't be two or seven. So that is three or four. That's not getting me home. Um, this can't be four since we got that. So that's another possibility removed. Keep going, keep going. These only add to 13. Now, do they have to have a two in now? If they didn't, they would be three, four, six. Actually, that seems, well, then a two would be here. Three, four, six, that would be a six with a three, four pair either side. Is it the fact that this digit is in both that 17 sum and this 13 sum? So these two have to add up to four more than those. 
don't think I can use that. It doesn't feel doesn't feel easy to use anyway. Right, maybe somewhere at the top. Eight is there. Eight's in one of those. One of these two is eight. It's got to be here. That's an eight. Doesn't do anything. Um, eight, one, nine, seven. No, six or four. Oh, the only place for two in this row. There's only one place for two in this row. There it is. Now there is a two in this group. Right, one of those two is a two. And they make 13, so it goes with either 5, 6, or it doesn't go with 8, 3, because that cell can't be either of them. So it's either 2, 5, 6, or 2, 7, 4 here. 2, 5, 6 would make this a 3, then you'd have a 4, 7 pair up here. 2, 7, 4, ah, oh, the other three cells in the column would be from 3, 5, or 6. Now, can this be a 2? If I need these to be 17, they'd be an 8-7 pair. But that would put 5-6 here and leave nothing for this. This can't be the 2. Yes. Yes. This is the 2. Uh, that can't be a 7 anymore. Right. Now, again, these have to make 17. Can that be a three? Is that the next question? Is that the next question? Can this be a three? Then these two would have to add up to 14. They could be six and eight. You could have five, seven here, and that would be a four. That can't be a four. So this can't be a three, because then that can't be a four, and it would be the only place left for a four. So that's not a three. So three goes here. Is that great or is that just nothing? Well, it means there's an eight here. That's not interesting. This is five or seven at the top. Okay. Right, if these add up to 17, the rest of the box, the, give, the digits I've got firmly in add up to 15. These add up to 17, that's 32. These two add up to 13. Okay, so that can't be a 5, and this can't be 7. Now that can't be a 5, this can't be a 5. And wasn't that a good pair for some reason, 7 or 8 here? Oh, it couldn't have been a 5 for ages. Just noticed that. Okay, 2, 3 pair in this row, that can't be 3. This is either 4, 5, or 6. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, only one place for seven in this row now. Goodness me, row three. You're a mean row. I never spot things happening in you. So four up here. One of those is a four. One of these is a four. There's definitely a four on this diagonal that adds to 17. But I don't know whether that makes it four, eight, five or four, seven, six. This adds up to 13, so it's either, what was it, 836 or 854. So these two add up to 9 as well. This is 3, 4 or 6. This is 3, 5 or 6. Um, oh, I'm sure this is maybe the black dot. Why am I not using it? Why can't I use it? 6 and 8, that can't be 6 or 8. Um, five nine one two four seven. That's three six or eight. There's oh, this can't be four. Two nine nine seven. I can't see how to trim that down. That is two three or five. Ah, oh, def. Okay, one of those two is six for the row, so that's not a six. This is a four five six triple, so that's three and that's seven. Oh, that might actually just unlock stuff. This is a four now. Now I've got five, six pair here, so that's not five and that's not six. Three, four pair here, so that's six. Oh, this is a three anyway. Four there, five here. 
Now these don't have a three in, so they don't have a six in either. Four, five, eight, triple, six, five. Haven't done this two, three. That must be six. This is two or three. Oh, come on, I'm closing in now. Surely now it's coming. Um, still that diagonal is resisting. Oh, these this pair adds to 13 now. Two ways of doing that. Stop drilling. Um, 71968. This is 2, 4, or 5. 6, 1, 2. What's 6? I'm, I'm no, I know there's something really basic that I'm just not spotting now, but I will get there. 2, 4, 6, 3, 7, or... Oh, look, there's a 7, 8 pair in this row. So three and six fill in there. Yeah, that's good. So that three fixes five, three. That fixes two, three. Three there on the diagonal makes this, let's just check the maths, 22. This needs to be a seven, eight, five on its diagonal. All those diagonals are done now. Five there, eight there. We finally get the black dot done at the very end. Uh, that's meant to be a five. Don't want to make typos at this point or indeed at any point. And two digits to go. What a lovely puzzle. That is one of my favourites. I really like how that works. Um, yeah, very, very elegant. And really interesting how the information feeds back and forth. And I mean, you would think it was luck to some extent to come up with clues that work for both the horizontal and the diagonal, but it really isn't. It is great skill by Oddly Even. That's a fantastic puzzle, love it. So I really enjoyed doing that. Um, not far off with the estimate, but it's always a bit of a roller coaster. Really enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again. Oh, it gives me a chance for a thumbnail that I like using as well. Anyway, lovely puzzle. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.